Let's take a quick look at Unify G3. Today we're going to be looking at Unify G3 5 pack. Actually, just one G3 camera, but they come in 5 pack and a single pack mode. This camera is quite amazing. It uh, features um, 1080p recording and motion detection and a lot more. Uh, you can find out all the specs at uh, ubnt.com. The camera is well built. I've deployed quite a few of them in the field already. This is me personally replacing few cameras at home uh, that I've been testing for over a couple of years now. Um, I had Gen 2 cameras up for about two years now and I'm replacing them with Gen 3. As you can see, uh, this kit is um, quite small and uh, comes apart easily without any tools. The bottom piece unscrews and uh, it has a small hole guide there for a cable if you're running the cable from the side or in case the cable comes in straight from underneath the mount uh, you could go directly that way but that is a nice feature uh, to have it is always important to pre-plan your runs and keep that in mind now this piece is strong enough to easily carry the camera since the camera is not heavy at all the kit comes also with these mounts for the pole so if you were to mount the pole first you would use the piece on the bottom to mount the pole and then naturally screw the two screws that are provided with the kit and one of the most important pieces of the whole kit is this sort of rubber piece that's elastic it goes in to the opening on the bottom of the mount and the cable goes through it preventing any water going through to the camera itself so it is designed really nicely in, ca in worst case scenario if there's some backup of water coming into the camera so it doesn't leak out to the camera itself from uh, through the opening and last but not least of course we have uh, the guide not too many not too many people read the guide unfortunately but it is an important part of the process and here we have um, Unified G3 uh, accessory LED these run for about 70 bucks and uh, while I have um, uh, deployed quite a few of these for my customers I've never used one personally at home so this is gonna be a true testament because I'm gonna be putting three of these up uh, uh, this weekend and I'm gonna see the difference between this and uh, the regular one without the IR I think there's gonna be quite a lot of difference but that remains to be seen now this IR is an, ac an accessory that attaches through that rubber piece on the bottom that needs to be removed it requires gentle hands and or a pin of some kind to be able to open it I have a set of these small screwdrivers that I'm going to be using to remove the bottom rubber piece so that I can show you how it looks inside here we have the attachment piece for the IR range, range extender the micro SD card slot and the reset button on the bottom okay this visor simply pulls out this 
it's going to go here. So. See how that's going to look. Pretty decent seal provides. At the end, remove this and remove the plastic inside. I'll leave it covered for now, but it looks pretty good. Thank you.